Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Nonsense be something you wish. Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. One, two, three, four. I want you. cell walls contain peptidoglycan. This structure is essential for maintaining the structural integrity of the cell. Peptidoglycan is a structure that is unique to bacterial cells. This combination of essential and unique makes peptidoglycan an excellent target for antibiotics. The precursor subunit of peptidoglycan, UDPN acetylmeramic acid, is synthesized in the cytoplasm. A lacteal group is added to carbon number 3 of UDPN acetylglucosamine to form UDPN acetylmeramic acid. Five amino acids are added sequentially to UDPNAM to form a pentapeptide side chain. Special adding enzymes are used to add these amino acids so that tRNA and ribosomes are not involved. In the case of Escherichia coli, L-alanine is added first, then D-glutamic acid, then mesodiaminopamelic acid. Finally, the dipeptide, D-alanyl, D-alanine, is added to form the pentapeptide side chain. The NAM pentapeptide is transferred from UDP to bactoprenol phosphate at the membrane surface. Then NAG is transferred from UDP NAG to the bactoprenol NAM pentapeptide to form the final disaccharide pentapeptide precursor. The completed NAM NAG precursor is transported across the membrane to its outer surface by the bactoprenol carrier lipid. The disaccharide pentapeptide is then transferred to the growing end of the peptidoglycan chain to lengthen it by one repeat unit. As the bactoprenol pyrophosphate returns to the inside of the cell membrane, one phosphate is removed by a pyrophosphatase, leaving a bactoprenol phosphate to accept another NAM pentapeptide. Finally, the peptide side chains are linked together by transpeptidation reactions, forming peptide bonds. In E. coli, the free amino group of diaminopamelic acid is linked to the carboxyl group of the subterminal D-alanine, releasing the terminal D-alanine. 
Other enzymes remove the terminal dialanine from side chains that are not cross-linked.